anyone can come to Jesus. Jesus said, whoever comes to me, not whoever cleans themselves up enough and comes to me, not whoever has all their questions answered and comes to me with enough faith. Kids, Jesus doesn't say whoever is old enough can come to me. No, kids, friends, Jesus simply says whoever. Now, there are stipulations to be sure. To come to Jesus in no small part means we're signing up to do what he wants, even when it's not what we want, and we'll talk more about this soon. But friends, my question for you now is this. Are you surprised by that simple word, whoever? Does it arrest you that as one historic Baptist confession states, nothing prevents the salvation of the greatest sinner on earth? Who is the greatest sinner you know? Don't look at them if they're here. (laughs) Just think about it. And if you were tempted to look at someone else, I, I would submit to you that the worst sinner you know is the person you see in the mirror. That said, I understand in normal human experience, we all have a category for people who are obviously a mess. Uh, who more obviously have a ton of sin in their life. Uh, Earlier I said all of us are sinners, and that's true. But it's also true that different sins lead to different natural consequences uh, that manifest themselves more evidently, more tragically. So I think of a person I once met in Washington, D.C., where I lived before I moved to Birmingham. I lived in D.C. And I had scheduled a lunch with a white man whom I had heard of and was introduced to, but I didn't really know. So in he walks, and he is as old as a grandpa and as sweet as one, too. You'd never guess it from looking at him now, but decades ago, this man, Tom, was a member of the KKK. He hated black people. He bombed the homes of Jews. He served time in prison. Now, we would all agree Tom was a great sinner. But guess what happened? In prison, he came to faith in a greater Savior, the Lord Jesus Christ, who radically changed his life. And at our lunch, Tom and I talked about how happy we were to be brothers now. And beloved, if there's hope for Tom, there's hope for you. Anyone can come to Jesus. And my question for you, brothers and sisters, is this. Do you share the gospel as if that's true? Do you pray as if that's true? Who are some of your evangelistic yeah rights? (laughs) Like if someone put a megaphone to your thoughts, we'd hear yeah right. Will that person ever come to Jesus? You know, Kimberly, that woman in my office who is always drunk on the weekend, you'd think she'd come to Jesus? Yeah, right. Well, beloved, if I looked at Tom's life when he was making that pipe bomb, I would have said, yeah, right. But then again, if you would have looked at my life when I was a freshman in college acting a fool, you would have said, yeah, right. But Jesus says, whoever comes to me, anyone can come to Jesus. Amen.